Jana woke slowly, her eyes adjusting to the brightly lit laboratory as the sedative wore off. The doctors hovered around her gurney expectantly, monitoring equipment beeping methodically. The lead researcher, Dr. Carson, leaned over her field of vision. How are you feeling, Jana? Any pain, nausea, visual disturbances? He inquired with clinical detachment. She shook her head weakly and managed to rasp a hoarse negative. Excellent. The cellular grafting sequence appears stable. Increase her luminous dosage 0.3 micromoles and continue to the next phase. Carson turned away briskly as a nurse injected the solution into the IV line. Jana closed her eyes as a buzzing energy coursed through her veins. The experimental gene therapy was designed to express bioluminescent proteins in certain ocular cells, theoretically granting visual perception of higher frequency light outside normal human limits. Success would open astonishing new frontiers of biological science. As Jana grew accustomed to the buzzing intensity, she noticed the darkness behind her eyelids taking on a faint but deepening shimmer, like a hidden cosmos flickering at the edge of vision. Slowly, she opened her eyes. The laboratory was overlaid with shivering veils of light faded to her former senses. Luminous motes danced in the air, weaving curious signs and patterns. But even more astonishing were the ghostly, amorphous entities dutifully moving about the room, projecting a pale radiance, interacting with physical objects as if to manipulate them at the microscopic level, clearly intelligent, seemingly unaware of human presence. Jana's heart quickened. Were these phantasms some parallel microbial world? Creatures occupying niches at the invisible quantum scale, coexisting among mankind for eons? As her altered sight adjusted, their presence seemed to permeate everything, outnumbering visible life millions fold. A profound and unsettling revelation. And tomorrow, when they increased her dosage seeking to intensify these perceptions, what deeper secrets and dimensionalities might open to her? Jana trembled wondering if her human mind could comprehend the hidden cosmos now being birthed into her awareness. In the days that followed, Jana's perceptual transformation progressed rapidly as her treatment intensified. The ghostly omnipresent entities took on greater resolution, revealing an astonishing diversity of intricate, oddly beautiful forms glowing across alien light frequencies. Jana was struck by how they pulsed with a kind of intent as they tirelessly traveled and altered objects in microcosmic realms invisible until now. The researchers aimed to communicate with these newly discovered life forms, but found all human signals passed through them unacknowledged and unimpeded. Even Jana's altered sight seemed only to observe their existence, not interact. Their purposes remained indecipherable. As Jana reached the peak dosage, the shining surroundings overlaid on the physical world became almost substantial to her. She witnessed the entities engineering minute constructions, manipulating matter, processing information in ways that seemed eerily advanced. Jana tried to comprehend the underpinning science of their existence, but their technology defied her knowledge of physics, reliant on manipulating unseen dimensional forces. As she studied these beings, their behaviors took on an increasingly ominous quality. Their tireless industry, their disregard for the macro-scale world of humanity suggested a trajectory that could ultimately prove hostile to mankind. But with no means to interact, there was little anyone could do but watch as they further permeated the environment with their ingenious but untranslatable designs. When Jana was finally taken off the treatment, the ghostly entities gradually faded entirely from her perceptions, even though she knew they still teemed just beyond the veil of human senses. Part of her was relieved not to see what might be coming, to let the unseen remain unknown. But part of her also now felt that blindness to these emerging realms was perhaps the greater danger. She had been granted only the briefest glimpse of the intricate complexity underpinning existence itself, and the humbling realization that mankind occupied just one of countless hidden worlds still unfolding all around them.